Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys a technique that makes creating little individual textured foam bricks as easy as possible. Hands down, this is the best technique I've ever come across. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Black Magic Craft. I like to build things with individual foam bricks. I love the differences in size and protrusion that it adds to brick walls. It looks so good. However, when you cut a bunch of foam bricks, let's say you cut up a bunch on your hot wire table, you are then left with pieces of foam with very sharp edges. They look new, there's no texture. They aren't quite appropriate for building medieval stonework. There's a lot of different ways you can texture this. You can glue it all to your piece and then use aluminum foil or something to you know, make the texture and that's fine, that roughens it up a bit, but it doesn't rectify those sharp edges. And you want all those little edges on the bricks to be slightly beveled so that there's some definition in the grout lines between bricks. And I've tried a whole different bunch of different ways of doing this. I've tried just not bothering, I've tried using a nail file to sand the edges of the strips before cutting them into individual bricks. I have put them on and then used a pencil to retrace. I've done a whole bunch of stuff and they all kind of worked, but I didn't like any of them. They were all a pain in the butt for one reason or another. I came across a technique months ago on the Tabletop Crafters Guild group and I wish I could remember the name of the person who posted it. I, Thought I had written it down for when I eventually tried it out and did this video, but I can't find my note. Somebody posted this technique in the Tabletop Crafters Guild. I finally got around to trying it, and it is a game changer. This technique friggin' rules. Cut up a bunch of foam on your Proxon or whatever hot wire table, and then bevel all the edges and add texture in just seconds in the most easy way possible. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna make some bricks, gonna show you this awesome technique, and then I'm quickly gonna make up a little brick wall. Guys, I'm in love with this. Let's do it. So of course I had to start by actually making some bricks and I decided to make ones that were a little bit more appropriately sized in scale for 28 millimeter miniatures. So I made these ones a quarter inch by quarter inch by half an inch. So I ripped up a bunch of material using my Proxon hot wire table and my Guider Pro fence from shiftinglands.com. And normally when I make bricks, I make the long strips and then maybe do some texturing and then with a X-Acto knife or an Olfa knife, cut them into the individual bricks. But because the texturing takes place after the fact here, I was able to just cut the individual bricks at this step on the hot wire table using the fence as a guide. And this was really fast and really easy. And eventually I was left with a big pile of bricks. So for the texturing, this is so simple. You wanna grab a big container, something like a coffee can and some rocks, some stones from your garden or your yard. Something with hard, sharper edges is probably better than round river rock. So I went outside, grabbed some, put them in my coffee can, put in all your bricks. All you gotta do is shake them up. And inside this can, it will tumble the bricks and the stones will rectify all the edges, smooth them out and also dent them and add some texture. And it's just this wonderful process because it's satisfying to do, it's easy to do, and also you have a fair amount of control over how intense you want the texturing or the beveling. If you just give them a little bit of shaking and a little bit of time in this process, the intensity of the effect is not as severe, but you can keep doing this and keep doing it as long as you would like over and over again until you get them exactly how you want them. After you're done texturing them, all you do is dump the can out, separate the stones, put them back in the can, save that for another time, and you're left with a pile of ready to use bricks. I can't believe how easy this is, but more importantly, I can't believe just how dang well it actually works. I totally love this. Get your bricks and you're ready to go assembling walls. Simple, but brilliant. This technique 
is my new favorite thing. I am totally converted. This is how I am doing brick texturing from here on out. However, I'm always open to new ideas. So if you guys got an even better way, let me know in the comments section below. I hope you found this video informative and useful. If you did hit that like button, of course, if you need to pick up any tools or supplies to build your own terrain, head over to blackmagiccraft.ca. There I have my essential equipment store with all of the things that I use and recommend and purchasing through those links helps fund these videos. The other way you can help out the channel and ensure I am able to keep making these videos each and every week is by supporting Black Magic Craft on Patreon. Those funds are crucial to the success of this channel and I would love to have you as the newest member of the Black Magic Craft Fellowship. That's it for this week, guys. I think maybe next week I'm gonna do a stone painting tutorial in depth because I tend to always gloss over that step, just give you the colors. I think we're gonna do a Beyond Basics, a more advanced stone painting on this brick wall next week. Let me know what you think of that in the comments section. And until next time, cheers, happy crafting.